It's past seed time and power in your life. Our topic for today is vanity upon vanity. A key text is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Remember now your creator in the days of your youth, before difficult days come, and the years draw near when you say, I have no pleasure in them. Let us look at the thoughts on the text. Webster defines vanity as emptiness, want of substance to satisfy desire, fruitless desire or endeavor, shifting labor that produces no good. Vanity is a concern for things that are really not that important. This word is concerned about many things, most of which are not as important as many believe they are. In reality, everything on earth is vain. You may find it hard to agree, but best believe King Solomon, who was the wisest man on earth. He had wisdom and wealth beyond measures. All these combined with his experience in life made him conclude all is vanity. King David, who lost self-control at the sight of Bathsheba, not resting until he made sure he had his way with her. You can see that in 2 Samuel chapter 11 verses 1 to 4. Now, towards the end of his life on his sick bed, could not even keep warm, even with the best provision of a young, beautiful maiden. What he could take, what he could not take his eyes off, was later in life given to him to satisfy him. And to the greatest shock of the people, the Bible says he could not even touch how much more be satisfied. You can see that in 1 Kings 1 verse 4. That is the vanity of life. What is that thing you cannot resist? Is it cars, mansions, beautiful women, handsome men, money, food or clothing? A time will come when all your hard-earned belongings will become others. We came to this word empty. We shall in the same vein go empty. No property will be taken along to the grave. Why the mad rush? Think about that. Why the mad rush? Application. Remember to serve God, our creator, while you are still strong, alive, agile, and healthy, instead of running after vain possessions of this world. Crave and pursue serving God, doing his will, and making heaven at last. And I pray that you succeed in this endeavor in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, thank you. Help me to be heavenly minded in my dealings on earth. Lord, give me the spirit that does your will at all times and focus on what matters most in Jesus' name. Amen. Action point, seek the kingdom first. Matthew chapter 6, verses 33. My name is Abikabere and Otsobo. Thank you for joining us. Have a blessed day. There are men that rise by labor. There are others that rise by favor. There are men that toil their way to the top. There are others the oil of God takes to the top. I am a man helped by God. His oil has lifted me to the top. And today I want to invite you to encounter that God that lifts men. To encounter the God that changes destiny. To encounter a God that answers prayer. To encounter a God that can make you what you want to be. I want to invite you to meet a God that can never fail. And today your life will change for good. Is it Chimo? Oh, yeah, Is it Chimo? Oh, yeah, Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? 
You're the God who never, never, never fails. Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? You're the God who never fails. 